Hello my friends, this is Brother Dez coming to you today from the prophetic Bible teaching. In the last teachings we had from the book of Daniel, chapter 12, we covered the second section of chapter 12. The post-incarnate Christ reveals the fulfillment of the prophecy, and that was Daniel 12, 5 through 7. Today we'll continue in the book of Daniel and in chapter 12, and we will look at chapter 12, 5 through 7. And this is all about the third section, the angelic being predicts hope for the Jewish remnant during the Great Tribulation. Daniel 12, 10 through 12. So as we look at this prophetic text in Daniel 12 and 10 and 11, note, many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of them or none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Verse 11 says, And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination that make it desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Verse 12, Blessed is he that waited and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. The above prophetic scriptures reveal events during the Great Tribulation that will be directly against the Jewish people. One, during the Great Tribulation, the Jewish people will come under much persecution by Satan. But God has his plan for them. According to verse 1, many shall be purified and made white. Two, it is clear that, the, that regardless of Satan's plan, along with his antichrist, the beast, you know, and the false prophet, and the persecution of the Gentile nations, during this time, we see that in this section of Scripture, the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. And from that time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the abomination that make a desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Daniel 12, 10, and 11. And three, verse 12 reveals that this Jewish remnant will be the Jewish people who will be waiting on the coming of the blessing or the blessed Messiah, and also to receive their blessings. Let us now discuss each of these three areas as presented. One, the first one is the uh, purification of the Jewish remnant. That's chapter 12, verse 10a, the first part of verse 8. Many shall be purified and made white. The teaching of the above passage of Scripture gives us some deep teaching. It is evident that in the time of the end or in the Great Tribulation, many people will turn to God and be purified through the blood of Jesus Christ and will be made white by the blood. For example, Isaiah the prophet stated in his prophecy where God was calling for the Jews, you know, of making them white. Note, come unto me all you that labor and are heavy laden. You know, come now, he said, with Isaiah. Jesus said, come all you that labor. But here Isaiah said, come now and let us reason together, said the Lord Jehovah. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white. And though they be like crimson, they shall be as wool. Isaiah 1.18 now, Revelation 7, 14 said, And I said unto him, Sir, 
thou knowest. And he said unto me, These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Revelation 7, 14. Both passages of scriptures, they predict God's mercy during the time of the end. Chapter 7 of Revelation predicts how 144,000 Jewish male preachers, 12 from each of the tribes, 12 tribes of Israel, they will witness and perform the message of God, preaching for people to turn unto the righteousness of God, which is in Jesus Christ. Then we move to the second portion of this, this uh, passage we're dealing with. Daniel 12, 10b. We see the persecution of the Jewish people. Note, but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the abomination that make it desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. As we look at this second section, the persecution. The first thing we see here, the above scriptures show that much evil and wickedness will be performed during the great tribulation or not. With this in mind, note what uh, Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians in chapter 1 warns believers about. Note, now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of the Lord Jesus and by the gathering together unto him that ye be not soon shaken in mind or troubled neither by spirit or word or by letter from us as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there first come a falling away and that the man of sin be revealed the son of perdition who exalted himself, opposed it, and exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was with you, I told you these things, and now ye shall know, and behold it, he might be revealed. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, but he who now let it will let until he's taken out of the way. That's the Holy Spirit. Then shall the wicked one be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming at that end, at the battle, as Jesus Christ comes back. Even him whose coming is after the walking of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them a strong delusion that they would believe the lie that they all might be them who believeth not the truth but have pleasure in unrighteousness. What the scripture is telling us, and Paul is telling us, showing that there will be pre-tribulation signs and wonders. And he reminds and warns the believers that during this pre-tribulation time, he showed a comparison. And he explained to them how it will be. Therefore, believers must not be shaken mentally or spiritually about the signs that they would see would be happening. But the believers of Christ must be aware of these signs at the end time. He says that the tribulation will not come until there be a falling of way. Where some who have claimed to have been believers, they will wash their hands and turn their backs. However, what's going to happen? The man of sin will be revealed, the son of perdition. The next thing, he will be revealed in the world and will exalt himself even above God. 
And although the uh, mystery of iniquity and signs of such evil is already presenting himself, itself, as Paul said, this Antichrist cannot be revealed. Son of perdition, the man of sin, or the Antichrist, until the Holy Spirit is taken out of the way. Who will be taken out of the way when he takes all the believers of Jesus Christ and resurrect them as Jesus comes back? Yes, but it relieved the world with all undeceivableness and unrighteousness and will be performed by those who will be perishing. And for this cause, the Bible says, God shall send them a strong delusion to believe the lie that they might be damned who believe not the truth and have pleasure in unrighteousness. The second thing we see here is that in the book of Daniel, it is revealed that the man of sin, son of perdition, or the Antichrist will prosecute the Jewish people. And as Paul shared, much wickedness and so on will be there. And as noted in Daniel, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. And the third thing we see here, the Jewish remnant, who would turn to God at the end, or the second half of the great tribulation period, they would be wise to understand what is going on. And so we see previously God laid aside the Jewish people and turned to the Gentiles that whosoever will come to him during this time, the church age, God is now picking out a people for his name's sake according to Acts 15, 14, 1 John 2 and 12. But when his church is completed, he will turn again to the, the gang to the Jewish people. And so we find because God will turn to them, Satan knows this, and he his hate will intensify toward the Jewish people. Paul said, showing the truth that God will do it, he says, I say then, had God cast away his people? God forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God had not cast away his people, which he foreknew. But it is written, God has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear. And when all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and he shall Turn away all ungodliness from Jacob, for this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. And so this brings us to the third main section, the persecution of the Jewish remnant. It will be intensified in the last three and a half years of the Great Tribulation. Note verse 12. Of Daniel 12. And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away in the abomination that make a desolate setup, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. In this scripture, we see three areas. The little horn, the Antichrist, will stop Jewish worship. He will perform the abomination of desolation. And his intensified hate will occur 1,290 days, which is a period of three and a half years. Let's look at it. First, he will prevent the Jewish people from worship because he would be lifting up himself and presenting himself as God. And they will not worship him. Therefore, as the apostle John and Paul predict, he will persecute them. Note Revelation 12, 13, and when the dragon saw that he was cast out of the earth, he persecuted the woman or the Jewish nation, which brought forth the man-child, Jesus Christ. And the serpent cast out his mouth, waters as a flood after the woman, that he may cause her to be carried away of the flood. Revelation 12, 15. The second thing we see in this little horn or Antichrist will perform the abomination of desolation. 
And we find in Matthew 24, Jesus predicted, When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whosoever read it, let him understand. But when he shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, according to Mark 13 and 14, then let them that be in Judah Flee to the mountains, Mark 13, 14. What is this abomination of desolation? Throughout the Bible, abomination refers to wickedness against the Lord. Deuteronomy 25, 16, Proverbs 11, 20, 21, 27, 25, 16, and Revelation 21, 27. All refer to wickedness. Desolation is seen connected with reproach, waste, and costs, as noted in Jeremiah 49, 13, 2 Chronicles 30, and verse 7, Deuteronomy 17 and 4, and Leviticus 26, 31. But the book of Daniel 8, 13, 11, 31, 12, 11, which Jesus Christ made reference to, has a particular meaning for the Jewish people and it says, Then I heard one saint speaking to the other saying, Unto that certain state that spake, How long shall the vision concerning the daily sacrifices and the transgression be desolate? To give both the sanctuary and the host to the trodden underfoot. As we look from these scriptures, we find that Matthew commentary spoke about this Desolation with the Roman armies, referred to the Roman armies, and the rejection of Christ was an abomination. And the abomination spoken by Daniel and their sacrifice and offering would cease. So Matthew Commentary, uh, Terry, Matthew Henry Commentary, Elliot Commentary for the English Readers, and also Benson Commentary, they all give... A, they all give us information about the abomination that make it desolate. We're bringing them in to the Roman army. And so as we think about even Bond's uh, notes on the Bible, spoke about the abomination of desolation, which means abominable or hateful destroyer. So, as we move along with this, all of the commentaries refer to the Roman armies taking over the city of Jerusalem and having their pagan emblem of war in the temple. Remember, Antiochus Epiphanes, he desecrated the temple. And according to history, although the name Little Horn in chapter 8 of Daniel was only a picture of that little horn of Daniel 7, who is coming, the Antichrist, that the Apostle John spoke about in Revelation 13. However, the beast of Revelation 13 appeared as a, as a Roman, since he will be brought to power by the fragmented Roman Empire. So according to the prophecies of the book of Daniel, all four Gentile nations, God gave power to them. Babylon, the Medes and the Persians, the Greco Macedonian Empire, and the Roman Empire. They were all conquered by each other except for the Roman Empire. It fell apart by internal degradation. But in the end time, the time of the end, it will come back together. And the Bible tells us that from that time, that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the abomination that make a desolate set up. And there shall be two, shall be a thousand, two hundred and ninety days. As we said, the time of three, of seven years. I mean, three and a half years that we're talking about. That second half of the great tribulation. He, the little horn, he'll stop the worship. He'll perform abominable things. And he will, his hate, will intensify for that 1290 days, the three and a half years. The prophecy is still awaiting 
for its fulfillment, which the angel told Daniel it will occur in the time of the end and not the end of times. So what's the lesson for us today? It's easy to see the amount of persecution that the Jewish people have endured throughout the many years. They were enslaved by Egypt, then in Babylon, basically scattered throughout the world. We had many cases, they're still being persecuted. The second thing, the problem is, they will continue to be prosecuted as the years roll along until they reach to the great tribulation, except for those who trust Jesus Christ and they'll be raptured. There the Antichrist will intensify his persecution in that last three and a half years of the great tribulation. And this will be the time when God will intervene on their behalf. Get a copy of my book, Revelation. It explains the times in which we live. And you'll get all this information. Not only will the Jews go into the Great Tribulation, but anyone who rejects Jesus Christ and his message of salvation, they would also wind up in the Great Tribulation. Therefore, now is the time for salvation, for tomorrow may be too late. Note what the Bible predicts. Therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour, as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. So, my friend, ask Jesus Christ to come into your life today. Forgive you of your sins and give you that hope of glory that you can have peace even on earth right now. May God bless you and your family. Amen. Amen. In case if you miss any of these prophetic teachings of Daniel, you may retrieve them on YouTube, also Revelation, the entire book. The teachings are there. All right? Under my name, Desmond Michael Coverley. Okay? You may also follow this ministry on YouTube, Facebook, my story, Instagram, Twitter, X, WhatsApp, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Threads. Also, check out the website, www.corbanje.com. -E May God bless you and your family. Look for the coming of Jesus, not the, Antichrist, not the Antichrist and the Great Tribulation. So if you want to miss all of that, take Christ today. Amen? Amen.